Bill Koch, you all know me by now, but uh, we are today in East Troy, in home of the East Troy Cycling Classic, uh, presented by the Klum Family Foundation, uh, very generous supporters of the event. Uh, but I'm here right now also with a generous supporter of the event, Ann Zess. Uh, Ann and her husband, Ted, opened up the East Troy Brewery. Last year they were open for the race. Last year uh, it was really fantastic. But Ann also has been on the, uh, on the village board uh, when they first approved Toad coming to East Troy. Um, Ann is a board member of the East Troy Area Chamber of Commerce, who is our host here in East Troy. I said East Troy a lot here. Mm -hmm. But Ann, welcome to our little, our little interview here. Thank you. Um, just uh, some really easy questions for you. Mm -hmm. um, but tell us a little bit about, we, we're really here to talk about East Troy and what this event does for East Troy. It doesn't matter if it's a bike race, whatever it is, but mm -hmm. what do you think about this sort of connection and what it means to the community? The Tour of America's Dareland, you introduced it to us in 2012, and it's, it's brought a lot of energy to the community. It's uh, fun to see all the, the bikers and all different levels and races, uh, males and females. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's a great event to have on our square, our town square, to, to showcase that. Um, it's fun to bring all the people to town that normally wouldn't see our community. It's a great way to showcase it. Um, we opened the East Troy Brewery in 2018, so 19 was our first race. We were really looking forward to the 2020 races. So we're excited about continuing the relationship. Knowing that we have uh, visitors here from all around the world, Australia, Japan, Germany, mm -hmm. the Caribbean, South America, Canada, uh, and then plenty of people from the United States and from Wisconsin. But what's the, when they come to East Troy, and let's say they're here for the very first time, and it's now 10 o'clock at night and everything's quieting down, and Quinn and I have stopped tearing down the course and picking up goo packets off the street once in a while, not many. What's that image and memory you want them to leave East Troy with when they go home? I just like a, a nice, serene, you know, community. Um, people come together, it's peaceful, you can relax, you know, sit on the patio and have a beer. Um, maybe even a German beer, you know, we have all, all different kinds of beers sure, and sure. we like to, you know, offer people what they like. Well, I want to thank you for all the tremendous support you've provided in all of these years now since we, we first came to East Troy. Um, as a chamber member, as a village board member, as a business owner, um, it's, that's really what drives um, the ongoing interest in returning to communities and you wanting us to be here for what it provides to your community for, for excitement and entertainment. So, Ann, thanks so much, and uh, we'll see you in June okay. of 2021. Can't wait. Thank All you right. very much. Thanks. We appreciate it. What a vision for East Troy, five, ten years down the road. Let's assume that Tour of America's Dairyland is still coming to East Troy. We hope we will be. Uh, what do you, what do you, what's the Roar family see in East Troy ten years from now? Um, let's just keep going. You know, um, I, we have a home store that um, has all organic and, and um, healthy products, you know, so come and get your sunscreen on the day of the, the bike race. Um, stop and get your your book for to de-stress between races um, yeah and hydrate at 2894 but yeah let's just keep going with this whole idea of my body well Kayleen thank you for joining us thanks for doing what you're doing for East Troy it's an amazing amazing scene um, I can tell you that we all love coming here and visiting whether we're racing or watching or just coming to hang out so thanks for being a part of that and thanks for being a part of Toad thank you so much all right thanks with me today is Vanessa Lenz, who is the executive director of the East Troy Area Chamber of Commerce, who is also our host in bringing Toad to East Troy. So, Vanessa, thanks for taking a few minutes to chat with us. Yes, thanks for coming. We really Welcome appreciate to East it. East Troy again. We love East it's been Troy. A while. Tell us about East Troy. So why do you guys like having this, this event go on in your town? Square? Yeah, so kind of over the past five years, we've witnessed East Troy, this little community, become one of the coolest communities in southeastern Wisconsin. And the Tour of America's Dairyland has actually played a really big role in that. Um, not only does it bring these amazing cyclists from all over the world, but it also puts a spotlight on our community, on our businesses, and our residents. 
And what kind of businesses generally are members of the Chamber of Commerce? I understand that maybe even our presenting sponsor is a, is yes, a member. Yes, Quick Trip is a brand new corporate partner of the Chamber. Um, they just opened a um, East Troy gas station just last year, so we're super happy to have them on board. The race goes in our downtown, so we have a lot of support from the downtown businesses, um, but also a lot of just businesses that, you know, uh, want to support their community and uh, really love the bike race. We have a lot of our big attractions um, get heavily involved in the chamber. We have so many unique things to do in East Troy, like Alpine Valley, um, the East Troy Electric Railroad. So we get a lot of support from you know our attractions because we like to promote them sure. back as well. And the East Troy uh, Electric Railroad, tell us a little bit about, so, yeah. uh, about that. It's a turn of the century uh, electric railroad. It was part of the original uh, Milwaukee Light Company line. So it's the only remaining um, little piece and you can ride from the East Troy uh, Railroad Museum to the Elegant Farmer in McGuanago. Um, in fall, they have this big harvest festival event. You can see all the fall colors. So yeah, it's, it's a wonderful gem for our community to have and it's walkable from the square. We have a lot of attractions. Um, the, we're home to Alpine Valley Music Theater. That's sort of our claim to fame. Um, but we also have the resort there. So they have golfing in the summer, skiing in the winter. Um, and then the music theater has concerts. But it's also kind of cool to just check it out. You know, some of the biggest names in music have graced that stage. Um, we have Skydive Milwaukee right in East Troy. Uh, the brewery, we have uh, the Hive Tap Room, which is one of the first meteries in Wisconsin. So we have a lot of really unique things that you can't get anywhere else. What is it that's special about this community? Yeah, so we're small, but we have such passion in our community, which is why we're able to do things like Tour of America's Dairyland. The Klum Family Foundation has been a tremendous supporter and sponsor in bringing this event to East Troy. Um, we're very lucky to be able to have this kind of a big event here, and it's because of the support of our businesses and our community. So them just sort of seeing how we all kind of work together, and then also um, just this special little town in the middle of Wisconsin that you wouldn't really expect, you know, to be here. Um, and then also, um, I think them just knowing, one of my favorite things about the race is how the riders, we have a kids race, you know, that's very popular. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And the riders uh, really inspire our young people. So you see the little kids watching, the riders going around, and then they're practicing, and then I see them, because we have a small town, so I see them riding around after, and it's, it's amazing. It's amazing role models and it sounds cheesy but it's it's so great and i think your kids race is threatening wauwatosa for the biggest race <laughs> yeah it's it was really huge last year. it's really popular right. and and that's you know right. what we're all about we we love and i think that it's been said before but uh that toad has the bike race but the, like you have started to distinguish yourselves because you have this huge community party you know and we've really tried to embrace that right. every year and make it bigger and better thank you to dennis Klum. yes for introducing us so many years ago in 2012 and the support KS Energy um, provides also as a series sponsor yes. and their sponsorship of specifically of the East Troy Cycling Classic. Yeah. So uh, yeah, hats off lucky. to Dennis and his family um, and to you for bringing us here every Thank year you. Yes. and for being the ball of energy that you always are. So thanks <laughs> Thank for joining you. us, Vanessa. Thank you so much. Right. We can't wait for 2021. We'll be here. <laughs> Every year Toad welcomes many racers from around the globe. Uh, certainly the state of Wisconsin is a center point, but we also have riders from almost every country you can imagine. Uh, but the one, one of them that really sticks out is our, uh, I like to call Laura our sort of senior states person um, for her exceptional performance, her personality, and everything she represents uh, is just, really speaks to what Toad is all about for us. So recently, Todd Bustide, um, our, one of our voices for Tour of America's Dairyland, presented by Quick Trip, interviewed Laura Van Gilder. Celebrating East Troy, celebrating Toad, Toad on the Road. We are joined by one of the uh, stalwarts, one of the pillars of crit racing over the years. So excited to be talking to LVG herself, Laura Van Gilder. Laura? How are you? I'm great. Thank you. That was um, a very generous uh, in introduction to me. Uh -huh. uh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. It's Where are you hanging out these here. days? Are we catching you in Pennsylvania? Where are you at? I am. I'm in Pennsylvania, Eastern Pennsylvania, the Poconos. 
Absolutely fantastic. Well, listen, we're, uh, you know, we're doing a pivot on 2020, but we're so excited about the venues that have jumped in and been part of the race in the past. We're on course, if you will, for 2020. We're looking forward to 2021. But so when we look backwards at the, the resume, the trophy case of Laura Van Gilder, there's a lot of stuff going on. For instance, you actually uh, got that upper body workout by hoisting the big wheel of cheese a couple times. You, uh, you know, you, you marched to the top of the series in 2011. And then because once is not enough, you did the same in 2012. Some, some great racing during those two years. What do you remember about those two years where you uh, took the, the jersey at the end of the tour? Uh, well, I had never been to Toad Tour of America's Dairyland until that first year, and but I had heard so many wonderful things about it. And when I arrived in Wisconsin, it was some of the first times I had ever been there. And the courses were so challenging and interesting, and the communities were incredibly welcoming. Um, of course, the racing is always challenging. The competitors are as well. And uh, I went into it hoping to come out with several victories. Our team with several victories on the season. And once we grabbed the jersey on day one with Kristen Lasasso, we just marched forward to defend that. And I'm going to be honest, the cheese was a big motivator for me and the chocolate milk. The chocolate milk at the end of each day of racing was amazing it i mean it was the best treat ever i think that's what spurred us on to race so quickly for our hour each day um and the cheese i went on to order sartori cheese i still order it online because i had never had that cheese before it's fantastic delicious and wisconsin just tour of america's dairyland being in wisconsin just opened my eyes to a wonderful place and state to be and i just love the midwest and i looked forward every year to coming back you know we're we're celebrating some of the venues and uh, currently talking about east troy so here's this tiny little town with <gasps> the the village square is just so norman rockwell and and just queue it up have a picnic there and this is what east troy does so well it's just it's a phenomenal place to race. And you talk about some of the technical courses, six turns on that course, and uh, you know, just a really short sprint getting to the finish line. Any recollections from East Troy coming around turn number six and you got to get it done because the line is right there. Oh, absolutely. You know, we, the series had some more traditional uh, sort of four corner criteriums prior to that. Right. And we came to that venue and we did a, a pre-ride and, and, you really think here's where you have to make your opportunity to win the race because it was so technical and narrow in on um, those last few corners of that race. So uh, uh, you're exactly right. You came into this very small town and yet it was electric with the vibe from the community. There were fantastic um, preems there that really spurred us on. And I personally didn't want to come to the line with the field and sprint out of that last corner and make, um, you know, leave too much, you know, to caution and, and error. And, uh, and also it's an off camber corner. So it's really quite tricky. You, you couldn't be any further back than four and expect to, to win. So I really had my mindset on how I wanted to go about creating an opportunity for victory. And I was able to, and, um, you know, it was just such a fun venue, uh, really unexpected and a real treat to be there. And of course, the promoters in those first years offered free dinner for the women racers at a local restaurant, which was right. one of the participating sponsors right. of that race. And um, that really made us feel quite special. As, as younger riders would come up, you know, we tried to create opportunities for more women's racing, more three, four fields and that. And young riders would come up and there was Laura Van Gilder. And there was a, there was a mentorship role that you kind of naturally slid into uh, to encourage young women 
uh, to help them uh, excel in their racing craft. That's kind of part of your vibe right now, isn't it? Oh, well, thank you for noticing that. Um, I have such a passion for this sport and I want people to find the enjoyment that I've found for 29 years I've been doing this. And so I don't even know that I, I like to take people under my wing. I like to um, share the knowledge that I have. And if possible, you know, I've brought some pretty young teams to Tour of America's Dairyland and we've accomplished some amazing things. The one year we won the team overall GC, I'm extremely proud of that. We worked very hard through the series. And, and anyone else who were to come up and, and have a question or a concern, I'm more than happy to share that knowledge with them because to see the sport continue and grow is very, very important to me. In a perfect world, Yes, I'll be back on the racing scene next year and I will come out to Tour of America's Dairyland because it is, of course, one of my favorite events. Um, so that's my hope. And, you know, my hope is for everyone to come out of this and to return to the normalcy that we knew both in cycling and in our, in our real lives. Yeah, well, on behalf of Tom Schuler, all the other partners, myself, the state of Wisconsin, we, we've got plenty of chocolate milk waiting for you. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> we're going to, we would love to have you back. Here's to 2021 and here's to a phenomenal career, all the accolades that are already owned. And, uh, Laura, thank you so much for spending some time with us. We're looking forward to seeing you next year. Well, thank you so much. It was great to chat with both of you and see, see you in the summer of next year. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this segment of Toad on the Road. Thanks for hanging out with us. On behalf of the partners, everybody working behind the scenes, the folks that make these venues so exciting and work so hard to do so, all the racers that come out and enjoy, I'm Todd Bustee. Thanks for hanging out with us. We'll see you in 2021.